I never liked the respec system in Last Epoch, especially when leveling, but in general I don't think it's great. Fortunately, there are some changes coming soon. Unfortunately, it won't be enough. Hey everyone, this is Dyeworm and today I will discuss a little bit about respecs and some of the intended changes and provide some constructive feedback. And join Last Epoch content? Consider subscribing. I'll first discuss the current situation to set the scene, then we'll look at what 11th Hour Games has in mind and then we'll wrap it up. Let's just dive right in, starting with the current situation. In the current game, whenever you respec, you can either remove points you spent in skill tree or just unlevel the entire skill. In both cases, however, you can't just reapply those lost skill points into another skill or in the same skill. No, you need to kill monsters again, gather XP and then use that XP to earn skill points. And only then can you reapply the skill points in the skill tree of your choice by basically re-earning those points. It is a very tedious system that has already been reworked a few times but still has the philosophy behind it that you are not allowed to make small or big adjustments to your skills without grinding some experience first. This is what the devs call the opportunity cost. 11th Hour Games does not want you to be able to just tweak skills or swap skills without any effort. The better term here might be an opportunity effort, because the only thing it costs currently is time. For me, time is the worst type of cost, because it means grinding instead of spending your time in a fun way. Because you don't want to spend your time on things you don't want to do in a video game. We have real life for that sort of thing. I think this implementation in Last Epoch of an opportunity cost is a fundamentally flawed idea. I'm not saying a respec should be completely free, like in Chronicon, but apart from a cost or a currency, I don't think additional effort should be part of the respec process. Looking at Path of Exile, for example, there you definitely have an opportunity cost, but it is an actual cost, it is currency. You need Orbs of Regret to respec your passives, but after you do that you can instantly spend the points again. Skill gems you need to level, but you can also buy leveled gems at the market. Besides, you can level many gems at the same time, also in secondary weapon slots, and skill gems never lose their gathered experience. You really have a lot of options here. Respecking isn't completely free, but opportunity costs are limited. Torchlight 3 has a very similar system with respectables, bolts and lets you swap skills on the spot and use the ones you know, keeping skill points in them. Diablo 3 really lets you hot swap without any drawback, which feels not good and cheap. Grim Dawn lets you respec for gold. I can't really think of an action RPG that lets you re-level skills after you've already leveled those before. Last Epoch does this, however, this re-leveling. And to me this doesn't make sense on a few levels. In terms of lore and logic, I can imagine that I have to learn skills that I've never used, but if I want to swap back to a skill I already know, why do I need to learn that skill again? And why is it the case that only in Last Epoch, out of all the listed action RPGs, the effort required to respec is very significant? These days, you probably need to run around 4 monoliths to level up a skill back to level 20. That is still 20 minutes, by the way, and it is a tedious 20 minutes at best. And for what exactly? What are the devs trying to avoid? Hot swapping skills before, what, a boss fight? Apparently, because that's what Sarno specifically mentions in the post, that they want to avoid hot swapping. A question you should always ask in a corporate organization like the one I work for is if your solution is actually solving an existing problem. I'm not sure we're even dealing with a problem here that needs a solution, where the solution is that skills need re-leveling. I'm not convinced there is a good reason to have players put up with artificial time sinks, or what is called over here, an opportunity cost. The idea of hot swapping is under the assumption that skills exist in a vacuum, that being able to instantly swap a skill is actually an advantage. I would like to challenge that assumption. I think this very, very often is simply not the case. Hot swapping a skill will, in a lot of instances, not give you any advantages, unless you also have the required gear for that, and the required idols, and the required passives, and you are familiar with the playstyle. 
Unless all of those are taken care of, swapping a skill will most likely make your build worse, because your build is simply not synergistic anymore, as you have suddenly taken out a skill and replaced it with something else. And when that is not the case, like with a necromancer that could swap out certain minion skills, wouldn't it make sense that a necromancer with years of study and hours of playtime is actually capable of doing this as soon as those minion spells have been fully mastered at least once during the life of the character? Why doesn't experience just exist on the skills and remain there. Instead of my character forgetting stuff because I'm limited to 5 skill slots, I am sure there are a few people who would abuse hot swapping skills, but is that reason enough to let the rest of the player base go through a tedious respec process every time you want to try out something new in an action RPG, or even worse, while leveling and learning the game? Because while leveling, the game should actually promote experimentation of skills, instead of dissuading people, primarily new players. To be fair, PoE has this to some extent as well, because as a new player you will not that easily swap skills. But but it is for sure a lot easier than in last epoch and you can try out way more skills at the same time while leveling. Also, it is worthy to note that Path of Exile actually allows hot swapping of gems and thus of skills. They apparently don't see any issues with it and gem swapping is a pretty common practice, especially to melt a few bosses or turn your damage into single target. I think that is a perfectly acceptable way of doing things and I don't see why this would cause any issues in Last Epoch. But thy worm, you might say. It only takes me a few minutes to respec a skill in a monolith. Well, it takes me a little longer, depending on the build. But if your argument is that it takes not long at all, then my counter argument would be that we might as well get rid of the entire thing, because what's the point? But die worm, you might say. By spending some time on this, you would feel more invested in your character. Really? More invested? If anything, I feel less invested, because I need to perform menial tasks and are punished for experimenting with builds in a game that has build diversity and skill trees as one of its main selling points. There are so many ways to get people invested in their characters, and the main way is to have them have fun. Play the game, kill monsters and get loot. That is how you get invested. Not by spending 10 to 20 minutes in a monolith to simply respec a skill back to level 20. And when looking at the plus side of the re-leveling mechanism, I can't think of a single thing. It's not challenging, it's not fun, you can't make a good argument as to why the small grind is an advantage in any way. So that was a small overview of the current state. Now let's have a look at the post which mentions some changes in this regard. The changes are focusing around offering a few skill points whenever you reset a skill. In the example given, you reset a skill, probably at pretty high character level, and you get 7 skill points for free regardless of what skills you choose. This means that the transition from a fully maxed out level 20 skill is now a little smoother because you get 7 points for free in a new skill tree. It's a nice gesture and it shows the developers acknowledge the problem here. The devs usually have a very good grip on issues, but still by making making these videos, I'm trying to bring a point across and I know the devs are watching these videos too. As to the solution offered, it is not so much the first 7 levels that are the issue, you can literally get those in killing like 7 monster packs at high level, it is the final 2 or 3 levels of the skills that really take a while, like 10 to 20 minutes during endgame. For leveling characters as these 3 points skill with character level, I don't think at level 30 you'll get a whole lot of free points. This concern is addressed specifically by Sarno, who mentions that the devs are looking into a way to make respects for low level characters not as punishing, while still making them cost quite a bit at higher level. If anything, the post shows that the devs are on the case. And this video is just my perspective of course, and the devs have their own and we both have our reasons for having those, I just honestly don't understand what issue we're trying to solve here. I feel the same way for example about Path of Exile refusing to implement quality of life features when it comes to loot and forcing me to pick up each individual piece of currency, increasing my RSI at each and every click. It is their right as a developer and it is ultimately their game, but I feel it is my task as a content creator to occasionally question the devs intentions in a respectful way, very similar to how the regular press should keep the ones in power in check. That being said, I don't think the suggested changes in these posts are enough. There are steps in the right direction, but to me the right direction is total annihilation of the respec effort, not to be confused with respec costs. I feel specifically new leveling characters should not be punished whatsoever. Just give people free respecs until level 40 or something or level 30, so people can form an archetype they like. 
It is a very consumer friendly practice. I think a lot of people would play the game longer as they're capable of finding a build they like on their first character and it's a nice way to get into the game. I can't think of a single drawback here either. The game opens up much later anyway. When you discover the synergies between skills, do endgame, the monolith, the arena, that is where you bind players, so give them some freedom during their campaigns. And then later, if there are really insurmountable issues with hot swapping, issues that I honestly can't see, issues that apparently games like Path of Exile, Torchlight 3 and Diablo 3 don't seem to see, there can be some punishment. I still feel it's weird because it is so counterintuitive to what Last Epoch wants you to do as a player in a game that has this skill diversity as one of its main selling points, but if it has to be there, then fine. As a solution to hot swapping, maybe consider this. Hot swapping does not need to be that hot, as you can only allow skill respecs at a chronomancer for example, for free or for gold or for some farmable currency like a PoE or Torchlight 3. That way, you can't hot swap mid monolith or just before a boss fight, but respecking actually comes with an opportunity cost instead of an effort. Or you could leave gathered skill XP present into the skill like I mentioned before, so that way you only have to learn skills once, but later should you swap back to a skill you already learned or partially learned, you should just start where you left off last time. The skill points should just be available because surely you remember the skill, right? I'm curious about your thoughts on the matter as well. I'd love to see them, hopefully in a constructive way down below. Saying something like, skill respect suck, doesn't really help anyone. I hope you enjoyed the video ladies and gents, thanks for watching and making it to the end. I hope to see you soon, bye bye.